The largest algae bloom on record is taking place off our coastlines. Over the last few weeks, it has sickened and killed hundreds of sea lions and dolphins. Public health experts are now weighing in to give us an update. Orange County reporter David Gonzalez joining us live with a look at how serious this problem is. David. Hey, Colleen, it's panning out to be a beautiful weekend. Fourth of July weekend all across Southern California beaches like Huntington Beach. But a warning tonight if you do encounter any stranded sea lions on the coast, is, and that's because many of them may be getting sick due to that algae bloom off the coast. Southern California beaches are packed as beachgoers enjoy the perfect summer weather and the start of the long 4th of July weekend. We're just down for the weekend and we're going to enjoy the beach and we're building our traditional jacuzzi on the beach and wait for the tide to come in and fill it up. Love the beach, nothing better, sun, sand, friends, family, it's the best. But off of California's central and southern coast, the largest algal bloom on record is taking place. The size of this one again and the numbers of animals that are coming ashore um, is, you know, it, it's, it's large, larger than we've seen, you know, really in the last, I'd say, close to probably 20 years. While there is no risk to humans through water contact, sea mammals like sea lions and dolphins are getting sick or dying from suspected domoic acid toxicity, which happens after eating contaminated food. So it's created this opportunity for this, this algae to grow, basically, and so it's growing um, and it's gotten to the point where there's enough of it out there. It's worked its way up through the food chain, little fish eating the plankton, bigger fish, bigger fish, and now it's into the things that the marine mammals are eating. And it is causing a large influx of sea lions to strand on beaches uh, up and down Southern California coast. John Warner with Marine Mammal Care Center says they're treating them as fast as they can, but an unknown number of sick sea lions remain on beaches. To feel helpless, uh, to be full and know that there's animals in need is probably the worst uh, experience for all of us who work here and our volunteers as well. Experts urge people to stay away from stranded sea lions because they may be under distress and become more aggressive. We've had a number of uh, bites that have been reported in both, you know, Santa, and actually in Santa Barbara, LA, and Orange counties. And so when these sea lions are affected by this neurotoxin, there is a definitely an increased chance for, you know, harmful interactions between humans and animals. Once again, if you do encounter a sea lion, you're urged just to give them their space. But at the same time, if you do see one that looks sick or happen to come across one that has died, you're urged to call NOAA Fisheries. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.